Hi everybody, thanks so much for watching Lenko TV. Today we've got beautiful Annie who's going to help us do a demonstration of some of these light modifiers and umbrellas that we're going to be looking at today. As many of you know, size in this case does matter when it comes to umbrellas. We're going to demonstrate some of the different features of the large umbrella versus the smaller umbrella and look at the different types of light that come from each of them. For example, when we take a look at this, you're going to notice that the type of light coming from a larger umbrella is going to be a lot softer and you're going to be able to be further away from the actual source. Now we're going to take a look. So let's take a look at what things look like with the big umbrella. For this shot, we're going to be shooting with ISO 100, an aperture of 7.1 and a shutter speed of 100. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, now let's take a look at what the small umbrella looks like. Keeping in mind, none of the settings have actually changed. We're still shooting with a shutter speed of 100, an ISO of 100, and an aperture of 7.1. Let's see the difference. And when you have a larger umbrella, you're going to get a nice, soft, diffused light. You're going to be able to be further away from the source and, and maintain that type of light. When you go to a smaller umbrella, it's going to become a little bit harder. So as you can see from the results, using a bigger umbrella gives you a much softer light versus a smaller umbrella gives you a much harder light. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching Linko TV. Bye! <laughs>